Every morning, these drivers undergo a briefing. Once it's over, they're ready to hit the road with a lot less apprehension about the risks ahead. In the past, taxi drivers were attacked by customers who turned out to be raiders. With the advent of taxi jet, we feel safe nowadays because we know in advance who our clients are as we keep a record of them and all our vehicles are equipped with an electric beacon. We are tracked closely by GPS and in the event that there is an accident, we can be rest assured that we'll be rescued. Established in 2015 in Abidjan, this room is at the call center of Taxi Jet. All information regarding bookings, tracking, etc. is processed around the clock seven days a week. Customers call us using this service and from then, we process their request for a reservation. The request includes information about their departure point, their destination, and the time at which they would like to be picked up. Once we've noted down the requests, we forward it to a driver that is available and closest to the customer. We also send a text message to the customer with detailed information about the car that will be picking them up, including the driver's number, the car's license plate number, and the color of the car. The service is available 24-7, and we also process about 400 to 500 calls every day. In a city with almost 2 million people and with about 12,000 taxis for 300,000 daily users, the safety for drivers is often not guaranteed. I've been using the taxi jet service for about eight months now. As a customer, I've been impressed by how safe and comfortable taxi jet cars are. With this service, I receive information about the drivers, which I find to be very important. I also get picked up from home using taxi jet, and I'm very impressed by that. Faced with the more than chaotic and often dangerous driving experiences in the Ivorian economic capital, TaxiJet certainly had an easy time capturing the heart of Abidjan. TaxiJet may indeed just be the beginning of a revolution in Côte d'Ivoire's urban transport sector. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.